Hello everybody, today I'll show you how to make a wheel spin around when the car moves along a path. On the previous video, I have shown you the tutorial on how to make the car move along a path. But as you can see, when the car moves along a path, the wheels of the car didn't spin around. Each wheel should rotate by the x-axis. In order for the wheel to turn, the first thing that we need to create are helpers to make it easy for us to control the car. Let's proceed. Now switch to the car scene. We will create a helper for the wheel and the body of the car. Click on Helpers tab. Then click on Point button. Click an empty space on the scene and this little box will appear. Change the size of the box. Make it bigger by clicking the upper arrow. Then click on Align button while the box is selected. Then click on the car and the pop-up will show. Make sure you check on the x-axis y-axis and x-axis on align orientation tab then click ok now the helper box is in between the car but it's small while it is selected click on modify tab click on the upper arrow to increase the size you can adjust the size and move the box according to your choice This is okay now. Next, we need to link the car body to the helper. Click on Select and Link button. Click on the car body and drag to the helper. Now the connection between the helper and the car body is created. That's why when we move the helper, the car moves with it. Let's change the name of helper to help car body. Now click on helpers tab and click on point to create a helper for the wheel. Change the size to get a good shape of the helper. While clicking on the helper, select a line. Then click on the wheel and this pop-up will show. Then click OK.
changed the name of the helper to Help Car Wheel FL, where FL stands for Front Left. Click on point again and do the same way as we did before to create the helper for the other wheels. Change the name of the helper to Help Car Wheel FR. FR for front right. Again, we need to link the wheel to the helper. Click on Select and Link button and then click on the wheel, then drag it to the helper. Do the same way to the other wheel. Now you can see the relationship of the car body to the wheels of this on this tab. Let's check by rotating the helper of the wheel. The wheel rotates and follows. We also need to create the other link between the helper of the wheel and the helper of the car as the same way. Now let's check. If we move the helpers, the car will also move and follow. The last thing we need to do is link the rear wheel to the helper of the car body. Do the same way as we did before. Now when the helpers moves, the whole car moves as well.
Finally, we finished putting helpers for the car. Now we go back to this scene to make the wheel spin. Before that, we need to know the value of the formula later, the radius of the wheel and the total length of the path. Press T to switch to top view and press Z to zoom in the path. While selecting on the path, go to Utilities panel, where you can see the Measure tool. It returns a value a tad over 96006 mm. Remember that value as you will need it in a second. The second value we need is the radius of the wheel. We can create a sphere and compare it with the wheel. The value of the radius turns about 320 millimeters. Now we need a formula for this to make the wheel spin. Here's the formula diagram. In a circular object, the amount of rotation, or alpha, is dependent on the radius and the arc length, both of which are based on the data that you have. The arc length when flattened is the same value as the distance traveled by the car at any given time. The distance traveled by the car at any given time can be assumed from the total length of the path which is constant. And the percent value of the travel path is a variable that changes with every frame. With that information, the value we are looking for, that of the alpha angle expressed in radians, is equal to the arc length divided by the radius. Since the arc length is the same as the distance traveled, the formula becomes alpha equals distance over radius. The radius in this case is 320 millimeters, and the distance d, however, is variable and defined by the percentage of path travel. As you can see, the wheel should rotate by the x-axis. The distance traveled by the car is determined by the helper of the car body as it travels on the path. This means we need to establish a relationship between the main helper and the spinning wheel. Select the car body helper and right click to get a quad menu. Choose wire parameters, transform, position, path constraint, and percent. Then click on the front left wheel and choose transform, rotation, zero Euler, XYZ X rotation. The wiring dialog appears. First, we need to choose a link direction. The rotation of the wheel is based on path travel, so we set it one way where the main helper controls the wheel pin. As mentioned earlier, the distance is based in a travel percentage of a total path length. That makes the D value in our formula equals to 96006.578%. 96006 being the total path length and the percent value, a variable that changes with every frame.
Let's enter this value, 96006.578% in wiring dialog. Since the formula for calculating the spin angle is d over r, add a 320 to the formula in the wiring dialog. Now click the connect button to evaluate the formula. Scrub the animation slowly to see the result in the viewport. The front wheel is now spinning appropriately. Select the formula and use Ctrl C to copy it to memory and dismiss the wiring dialog. Repeat the procedure for the front right wheel. This time, though, instead of rewriting the formula, simply paste it using Ctrl V and then click Connect button. Scrub the animation. Both side wheels are now spinning properly. You can also repeat the procedure for the other rear wheels. There goes our wheels rotating. Thanks for watching. See you till our next tutorial. Goodbye.